All right, so let's talk about how to use dimensional analysis to deal with questions of density. So if you want to deal with density, yes, there is an equation, density equals mass over volume, which you could just plug stuff into the equation and it would work, except here's the issue. Is dimensional analysis is a general tool to handle any sort of life situation. Now, if you want to use the equation for this, it would be possible. The problem is, though, there's a lot of other uh, situations where this equation doesn't apply. So if you want to use equations, you're going to quickly find yourself having to deal with a lot of equations, way more than you want to. So let's leave equations out of this, and let's deal with just units. That way, you don't have to memorize a whole lot of equations. Let's keep this simple. Okay, This is something that can be easy. So I should say it can be easy if you use the right technique. So let's talk about what that technique would be. So look at this situation. Let's say I have an object. Its density is 8.0 grams per cubic centimeter, and its volume is 2.0 cubic centimeters. And the question is, OK, given such an object, what is its mass? So we're going to deal with the units in a way that we can figure it out that we don't have to measure, we don't have to memorize any equations at all. You can simply use the units. So let's do this. I know I need an answer that ends in grams. So I'm going to just write G for grams. And then an equal sign. OK, and I'll put the answer here. I will also set up for my uh, dealing with some units. So I'm going to have my units give me grams. So okay, here's a place to, do, to set up the units. Now I'm going to look only at the units I'm given. I'm not going to write any numbers until I'm ready to calculate. It's important first to set the units so that they will cancel. So looking at these units, I've got grams per cubic centimeter, and I have cubic centimeters. So I need to find a way, something I can do with these two sets of units to give me that. So here's what I'll do. I need grams on top, so I'm going to, I need something that involves grams. So I pick this one first. Okay, I'm going to put it here. And I need grams on top, so I'm going to put this grams here, and the units are there's grams on one side, centimeters cubed needs to be on the other. Okay, so now grams per centimeter cubed. Just as I have grams per cubic centimeter, I've got grams per cubic centimeter. I've got the two together. Now, okay, I've got grams on top, so they give me grams at the end. But now I have centimeters on bottom that needs to go away. Luckily, this is here. So now that I've used this unit, now I'm going to use this unit. Centimeters cubed. I don't want it on bottom because I'm going to have grams per centimeters cubed times centimeters cubed, and that's not good. I'll put it up here. That way, centimeters cubed cancels centimeters cubed, and that goes away, leaving me just the grams that I want in the final answer. So that cancels. this cancels this. Good to go. Leave behind just that left one unit that I want. Now that the units are set up correctly, I can go ahead and plug the numbers in. So. Centimeters cubed, what has units of centimeters cubed? This number, I put 2.0 in. Okay, and then here, what involves units of grams per cubic centimeter? All right here, 8.0 grams per cubic centimeter. So since the 8.0 is next to the grams, I'm going to put that right here next to the grams. 8.0 grams per cubic centimeter. So 2.0 times 8.0, okay, 2 times 8 is 16. So that takes care of it. I've got, the gram, I've got the unit I want in grams. The last thing I need to check on, does it have the correct number of significant figures? Two sig figs, two sig figs, two sig figs. So therefore, I don't need to round anything or add any decimals in there. I'm going to say whatever this object is, based on its density and its volume, it has a mass of 16 grams and call it good with that.